What's up everybody, this is Mike and in today's video we'll talk about the DJI Phantom 5 and what can we expect from this drone once it hits the market. I think it's safe to say that DJI controls the majority of the drone market right now as other companies such as 3DR or GoPro, Autel, um, Unique and tons of other smaller companies are really having issues uh, matching up to the quality of um, the DJI products and I also think that DJI has actually covered their bases pretty well as they now produce a product in each of those drone categories that you can um, imagine. First we have the DJI Spark which is small um, and very appealing to the people that have never flown a drone before. We also have the Mavic Pro which is super portable but also very powerful. Uh, then we have the Phantom 4 Advanced Pro or Pro Plus those are made for the people that are looking to get uh, something extra in their shots and they're a bit more uh, professional. And then of course we have the Inspire 2 which is strictly for professionals and as you can see we have all of those different products lined up from different categories. Now we only don't have um, a racing drone but that might be coming in the future as well who knows. So with that being said uh, I would really like to discuss with you guys what can we expect from the Phantom 5 so feel free to voice your opinion down in the comments and let's start off with the release date. Now there are a couple of reasons that lead me to believe that DJI will not make a new announcement for a new product in 2017 and the main thing is that we've seen four new new products in the past 12 months uh, from DJI those were the Mavic Pro, the Phantom 4 Pro, uh, the Spark and the Inspire 2 and DJI really doesn't need to rush and to compete with anybody as uh, they only needed to um, release the Mavic in October in tw uh, 2016 so they can compete with GoPro's Karma drone but now that the Karma is out of the picture they don't really have to uh, worry about any other competition so um, I don't really think we'll see a newer product released in 2017. I guess we can expect something in the spring of 2018, maybe something around March or April, as it also doesn't really make a lot of sense to release a new product in the middle of winter. So with that being said, I guess we can expect that the Phantom 5 will drop in early 2018. In terms of camera capabilities, the Phantom 4 Pro already has a top-notch camera, so topping that would be a very hard task for DJI, but my personal uh, wish would be to have the 5.2K uh, 30 frames per second shooting mode, just like the Inspire 2, or why not the 5.2K in 60 frames per second, although I know that this will require a lot of processing power and it might be hard to integrate. In terms of still photos, I don't really think there is any improvement needed, but for uh, marketing reasons, DJI might bump up the megapixels of the camera to uh, 22, 24, but now we have 20 megapixels on the Phantom 4 Pro, and I think that's definitely enough for that type of sensor. As for the flight time, um, the Phantom series are able to fly in the air for roughly 20, 25, 28 minutes depending on the flight conditions and although I would really like to see uh, the flight time extended to something along the lines of 35 to 40 minutes, I don't really think uh, we'll be able to see that anytime soon as um, DJI will have to implement a lot of changes into the um, overall design and the frame of the drone as well as the propellers. So unfortunately I don't think we'll see uh, a huge improvement in that area but I guess we'll see a few minutes added to the overall flight time so maybe something around 30 to 32, 33 minutes would be uh, a good guess. As for the sensors, we already have a huge collection of sensors in the Phantom 4 Pro, so um, tracking obstacles uh, in each direction is now a fact. Maybe they will add an upward uh, sensor, just like the one in the Inspire 2, then the drone will be uh, completely safe from each direction, so that would be a good thing to implement. 
As for the other uh, features, I would really hope that DJI will continue to improve their um, intelligent flight modes and continue to add more as they really make your um, job in the air a lot easier. Uh, but I would also hope that they will include some of the coolest features from their other drones uh, that the Phantom series currently does not have, such as the gesture control and the spark and the tripod mode in the Mavic Pro. Finally, let's talk about the price. Uh, now, we've seen that um, the Phantom series have gone up in uh, price-wise uh, compared to what we had before in the Phantom 3 uh, series. So now we should expect something along the lines of $1,200 to $1,500 for depending on the version. Uh, we, I guess it's safe to say that there will be a couple of different uh, versions of the Phantom 5. Um, we can expect something along the lines of Phantom 5 Advanced, Phantom 5 Pro, uh, or even Phantom 5 standard, it really depends on their marketing strategy. But uh, I think the Phantom 5 would be priced uh, along the lines of $1,200 to $1,500. And those are the features that I expect we can see in the Phantom 5. Uh, as you can see, I don't really expect any major improvements over the Phantom 4 Pro, but with DJI, you never really know as we can have a massive upgrade, but it, we can also have a, something uh, a lot smaller along the lines of the um, iPhone upgrades from Apple. So I guess time will tell. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment below and let me know what do you think about the Phantom 5 uh, and what is your uh, Phantom 5 wish list. Uh, thanks again for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Ciao!